Before we get to the show, though, Rick interviewed William J. Ma, a professional handler from New York, on a subject that has attracted a lot of attention lately. Bill, what is your solution about the cheap champion situation? Well, it's not so much the cheap champions, it's dogs that don't deserve their championship. Um, a few of us have gotten together, concerned people, not just handlers, but breeders, owners, owner handlers, and professional handlers, and some judges, that if they went to the system, that they take the specials class, eliminate it, put the specials back in the open, or bred by, and let the judges pick the best dog or the best bitch of the day, and then have one best to breed. Uh, it wouldn't eliminate best winners, obviously it would just be the best winners and best to breed would be the same award. This would make the judges, we hope, start judging dogs and get away from the splitting of points too, which is we see so, so much these days. So you're suggesting that we uh, put the champions in with the regular dogs, winner's dog, winner's bitch, or the, or the open class. The open. Open or bred by, and that the, um, it might not be a champion that wins that day. It may be a class dog that is deserving to beat the champions. And a lot of times we do see that we have a very good class dog, but it comes in with two or three champions, and which is better, but the judges just don't have the guts. Some of them, I'm not saying all of them, but some of them just don't have the guts to say, okay, I gotta carry this class dog because he's the best of the day. Yeah, but what about when a dog gets hot like a Manhattan or something? That's just gonna freeze up the championships for a whole year or two or three, isn't it? Well, not necessarily. There's so many shows in, throughout this country. I lived near Peter Green some time ago. He lived eight miles from me, and it was one year I went to 12 same, same 12 shows as he did. Is that right? Well, what about the best of winners? You're not suggesting that we eliminate best of winners, but eliminate uh, giving the points to whichever sex. Well, this, this suggestion has been made. It's not a new suggestion. It's a very old suggestion that you still have best winners because that award is very, very important, especially to specialties. But say you're an all-breed show, and this just happened in, well, I'll tell you, it happened in Bichon's. There was a five-point major in dogs and like two bitches every show. Well, the bitches kept getting the major. Just, well, there's a major, so let's share it with the bitch. Sometimes the bitch deserved it, sometimes she didn't. And I'm saying, let's not have any of that splitting of points. If the bitch deserves to beat the dog, farewell, fine but sometimes it doesn't. Let the bitches get their award, get their points in the bitch classes, and let the dogs get their awards in the dog classes. You know, in the long run, are we perhaps making too much out of the so-called cheap champions? There are a lot of dogs that are finishing that sometimes maybe shouldn't finish. Uh, it's people's ideals of what they feel is the best dog. It has been stated in most handlers that if a person comes to you and says, how much would it take to finish, um, say, a Fox Terrier? And you say, well, it costs you $1,000. $1,000 later, you'll have a champion. Um, yeah, but uh, no matter what we do, that's not going to eliminate poor judging. A judge can still put up a uh, poor quality dog, isn't that right? Yes, uh, hopefully with the eliminating of the specials class, it might force the judges to take a moment and say, okay, let me find the best dog or the best bitch within the sex. Um, if you have a special, they just sometimes just blow right through the classes and say, okay, let me just find the best looking special who has ever, no offense, advertised the most, I'll put him up. And they don't look at the class dogs. And a lot of times we do see a very, very deserving class dog miss out. Getting lost in a special, so to speak. He get, no, it's not so much he gets lost as they, okay, he'll get best of winners, but I can't put him over a champion today. You know, maybe, just let's just judge dogs. That's what most of the handlers really want. Let's just get down and judge dogs. That's what it's all about. The good dogs will win out, the bad dogs won't. In theory. In theory. <laughs> Hopefully. And that's another opinion. And our special guest today has been Mr. Bill Mom, professional handler from New York.